Many Americans are starting to see the light at the end of the COVID-19 tunnel. However, this month also marks a full year for most Americans who began social distancing and working from home when COVID-19 was declared a pandemic. And some, they're still feeling the effects. Dr. Christine Caulfield, CEO of LSF Health Systems and clinical psychologist joins us this morning to explain to us what exactly is this anniversary effect? Good morning and thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure. So what exactly is the anniversary effect? Well, it's very interesting. Uh, the anniversary effect is basically your body remembering traumas that you've experienced. And oftentimes that anniversary date, whether it be the start of the pandemic, um, a rape that you encountered and had to endure, um, a divorce, anything that was very traumatic and troubling to you. The body remembers those events and at that anniversary point, these feelings that you had, frustration, anger, fear, come bubbling up and it's deemed the anniversary effect. And certainly with the pandemic, this past year, we've had so many losses. And it's no wonder that people are saying, gee, I'm really feeling out of sorts, particularly here in March. I'm wondering what's going on. Yeah, you know, I was actually speaking to my own therapist about it. And a lot of it, she was saying to me, We've had to just kind of go ahead, go forward, that most of us haven't even processed what the last year has been like. And now that we're seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, we're finally going, oh my gosh, what have I been through? Absolutely, and it's so important to process those feelings. They are normal reactions to very abnormal situations that we've encountered this past year, unprecedented in this nation's history. So reaching out for support to a trusted therapist, minister, friend, and really talking about all that you've been through, all that's been assaulting our senses, the racial inequality, the insurrection at our capital, the pandemic, plus life events. You know, life continued to go on. Perhaps you lost a loved one, either through COVID or through other causes. Perhaps you had a divorce. Perhaps you struggled with children that were really, really having issues uh, during this past year. So. It's been a compounded year of loss. And so it's only natural that we are experiencing anniversary reactions right now. Uh, one of my favorite sayings, it's okay not to be okay. So what do you do if you're not feeling okay? What do you recommend to people? What are some free services uh, specifically? I know that uh, my doctor always recommends going outside into nature and taking a walk. He Absolutely. really recommends that for me. Yes, and uh, you know, research shows that just 10 minutes outside uh, starts those endorphins, those feel-good hormones uh, going through our brains, lifting our spirits, lifting our moods. Um, also, journaling is very helpful. Get your feelings out, the power of the pen. And so write down what you're feeling. Keep a journal. Uh, it's also important to focus on gratitude as well. So whatever you're grateful for every day, and research shows that if you just keep a gratitude journal and write down three things you're grateful for that day, in two weeks you will notice an uplift in your moods. Also important to reach out for some additional support through a professional. I don't know anybody that couldn't use some additional support right now and all through this past year that we've been enduring, frankly. So at LSF Health Systems, we have an access to care line, 1-877-229-9098. Christine Caulfield, thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure. We'll be right back.